in this video we are going to design this post or we can say a banner for social media so hey guys my name is Sarib and today's video we are going to design this and you can download my all the images free which I will use in this video as other videos so you can download them all and I have a small request guys please watch this video online don't download this video and watch offline please watch this video as online so here we are in photoshop now let's go to file and click on this new button now here give the name and with 1080 height 1080 and make sure it's pixels resolution 300 and color mode rgb color now click on this create button click on this icon and choose solid color now here this is my color code you can copy this code or you can choose your own color select both layers background and your color layer and press ctrl e and then we have to bring here our images uh, you can download my all the images free linked in the description below so this is our images so now here is a uh, white part so we have to remove this so click on this mask icon on this image now select brush tool press b for selecting brush tool now reduce the size and hardness should be zero now just brush here we have to remove this white uh, glow don't remove too much just remove like this so it's nice now we have to put it here our main product image and now we have to remove the white background from this image so select this image now click on this magic wand tool and click on this select subject now we have a nice selection now click on this layer press ctrl j now delete this older layer now again come to this layer and right click on this thumbnail and choose select pixels now go to select and click on this modify now click on this contract now give here two. hit ok now again press ctrl j now delete the older layer now convert this image as a smart object and now let's set them so i will hide these layers now press ctrl t and decide it now we have to make here a triangle so select polygonal tool and now just give here three and press shift on your keyboard and just make a triangle like this now take a yellow color like this hit ok yeah now select move tool and now press ctrl t and put it here and decide it like this and little up now hit ok now press ctrl a so you have selected your canvas now click on this layer go to move tool and click on this icon and click on this icon now press ctrl d for this selection deselect yeah nice now click on this layer and drag this layer all below the layers now select this layer this product image select rectangle marquee tool make a selection from here now right click on this image and click on this rasterize layer then press delete button from your keyboard now press ctrl d yeah now put this product image near the triangle edges and then open your images and now press ctrl t we have to delete unwanted part so right click on image and first of all you have to rasterize your layer now select the selection tool and make a selection like this from only body we want so delete the button from your keyboard and then press ctrl d now press v for select remove tool and put it here nice now second image will be same like this now press ctrl r for ruler and set the ruler from here now this image is, is literally smaller from this image so we have to make same size now press ctrl r press ctrl h for hiding the rulers now drag this image here hit ok and select this selection tool and make 
a selection for this light now click on this layer and press ctrl j and delete the older layer now press ctrl t and resize it and put it here like this now click on this image you have to select your image now go to normal and change the setting where it's like this so this is uh, perfect in the screen effect so we will keep this and we can change the color also if you want to change the color so just you have to select your layer go to this icon and click on this hue and saturation now click on this icon you have to click on this and just change some hue so you can see here so i will take yellow color like this yeah fine now select both layers one is our hue saturation and one is our light so select both the layers and press ctrl alt then drag your mouse for duplicate the layers uh, we have to make this effect this rectangular so it's very simple you just have to make a rectangle so select rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this now close the stroke and open the fill by any color now click on this rectangle go to effects and click on this gradient overlay now click on this gradient panel and choose color one color from the background and one color will be little dark from the background like this okay now hit ok and click on this radial to linear now drag this like uh, this if you decrease the scale so you will see the line so just you have to straight your line so in the 19 degree it's a straight line now you can increase your scale like this now hit ok now press ctrl t and put it here so it's visible this edges is really visible so double click on this gradient overlay and just change this like uh, opacity should be full yeah that was opacity issue so make sure your opacity is full and just put it here like this now hit ok and now press a for selecting this corner so you have to just set press a from your keyboard and then select this corner and increase the size hit yes now it's fine so here is the effect and now make a rectangle another and this uh, corner should be round like this now press v control t and decrease the size and like this rotate it and this uh, rotation should be matched from this rectangle the angle should be matched yeah now it's fine now hit ok and now from here we have to give the gradient also so go to effects and click on this gradient overlay now choose yellow color so one color should be from here and one color should be dark from yellow shade like this now hit ok hit ok and it's fine here yeah and this should be little like this decrease the opacity then choose the same color from the background of the rectangle fine now press ctrl t and resize it press a selecting these anchor points and decrease the increase the size like this and yeah, now it's fine select both the uh, shapes and put it here now press ctrl alt and drag and press ctrl t right click on it click on this flip vertical right click on it click on this flip horizontal hit ok 
put this rectangle here and just go to gradient overlay and click on this reverse icon hit ok and put it here go to gradient overlay and just move the color like this hit ok now here we have the same effect and now we have to write here our text so select the text tool and write here the new and increase the size and color should be uh, anything because we want only stroke color so put it here press ctrl a press v and click on this center anchor point now press ctrl d now my phone color is a roboto but i want to change so type here so i'm using uh, baby's new i don't know how to pronounce <laughs> Hit OK. Now go to FX and click on this stroke. Now uh, this should be color and and the color should be white. Size uh, we can see the size later. Now hit OK. Now decrease only fill value here. So you will get only stroke. Now this stroke size is fine to me and we can. Uh, give here the space between the letters so select your text and now click on this box icon and just and now just change this now we have to write here our next so i will copy the text from here i only copy the text i will tell you how to give the effect uh, on the text like this paste it here now again this text now if you want to align this text from the center perspective so you have to select both the layers now press ctrl G make a group of them now press ctrl A and click on this icon nice now here we will give the text effect so select this text and go to FX and click on this bevel and emboss now here we have to give only this effect i have given so uh, just see that setting i have chosen inner bevel and this is smooth and you can see my settings here uh, this effect you see so make sure it's same in your photoshop also now click on this stroke icon and give here two stroke size and this uh, color should be white so hit ok and you will give you will get this effect uh, like this now same effect on this text go to fx and click on this bevel and emboss now this is same settings uh, like we have given for the protein text so this is the same so this will be same and the stroke should be changed stroke color stroke size will be same only stroke color will be changed uh, like in this yellow shade like this hit ok and hit ok now we have given the text uh, effect here i have downloaded this flare hit ok now remove this now if you want to change the color of this uh, light or flare so just you have to select your layer go to this icon and click on this hue saturation now click on this icon you have to click on this make sure it's clicked and now just decrease the saturation and it's a white layer like this fine i just wanted uh, this light as a white so this is here so select both layers press ctrl j and put it here now we have to change this light color in the yellow shade so double click on this here saturation layer and make it uh, saturation like this half and now just change some hue in the yellow shade like this fine yeah it's looking nice and now uh, this is a simple text so i will copy from here 
because you can write uh, this by yourself so i am putting here now for the center align press ctrl a and you have selected this layer already so click on this layer uh, click on this icon make sure you have selected move tool so this is center aligned only and press ctrl d and now a small touch we have to give here for the ad adjustment of the layers I want to change this color of this highlight rectangle instead of black we should choose a light color yeah like this yeah it's fine hit ok hit ok and here also click on this text and I want this text and click on this paragraphs and click on this box hit ok now you can see here our banner our post is ready and this is very simple and you can give here any text if you want and also you can give here the website url for the customers and so customer know where we can buy this product and from which website we can buy so this is it now just press ctrl alt s and click on this pst2 jpeg for the image and you can give here the name also now click on this save and hit ok so like this we can design this type of post or banner and i hope you enjoy the video if you enjoy please like this video also subscribe this channel and i have also started a new channel for gaming live stream please support support that also subscribe that channel also so i will meet you in the next video until then and thank you so much for watching this video